Hey everybody, welcome back again to our fourth video in this series of YouTube videos designed to help you get your missions done in class and have zero homework. Today we're going to be moving on in the design cycle to discuss the next phase of our plan towards creating a fully functional transportation prototype vehicle rover from Mars. Thank you for going through the process of working on your design brief, which is that document that tells me everything that you now know about Mars, our design challenge, simple machines, specifically wheels and axles, kinetic and potential energy, and all the other little things in there. We are going to be going through the process of starting the next phase of the design cycle. You see it's nice over here, it's yellow. It is developing your design specifications. We've done this already. You know design specifications are those list of uh, positive criteria that you feel your design needs to have or be or do in order for it to be successful. We now know what our rovers need to have and what they need to be and what they need to do so we can start to list out some of those features, some of those characteristics that we want in our rover. So that's where we're at and that's the next thing that we're going to be doing and you're going to have the entire class to work on it and to get it done. So first let's just make sure that we're on the same page again about what specifications are. You probably recognize this poster. It's on the wall of our classroom. It's all about how to create good specific design specifications. And remember, they can come in a variety of different formats, but the main topics or the main content areas that we think about when we're creating our specifications are how does our product function, what form does it take, and how does it look, or what is the aesthetic value of it. There are a couple of different specifications in here that are great examples for tangible products. For example, this one on functions. Um, how your product works, what must it do, right? Maybe we can talk about um, what it must carry, how far it must go, what it must be made out of, what it can't be made out of. Or the form, this is the size, the shape, the weight. Um, I love this one, my storage device must. Well, should your rover have a storage device? How big should that storage device be? Maybe you want to talk about the size of the ratio between your wheel and axle. Uh, maybe you want to talk about how big you want your chassis to be or, or maybe how much you want it to weigh. And of course, aesthetics. We recognize that sometimes people want to make their rovers look a certain way, convey a certain message, or make a specification related to that. You're totally welcome to do so. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our design specification document in the next class. You guys are going to be going through the process of creating these specification criteria. We're going to think about and list all the types of things a rover a prototype should be and should do in order for them to be successful. We're going to focus on the features, focus on the characteristics, right, that make our rover successful. So I've provided plenty of space for you to be able to go ahead and write in your specifications. It's just like we did with our flags, but now specifically to our rover product. My suggestion is make sure that what you create is specific, measurable, and achievable. Make sure you start your words off with my rover will or my rover should, and make it meaningful. Use that so that term at the end. Maybe we could go take a look at a rover example from last time and maybe pull a specification out of there that we could kind of give as a sort of an example. This is an example of how I want it written. It's not a specification example of for rovers, it's for your flags. It's just how it's written in the language I want you to be able to see that. But let's take a look at some pictures on some of our rovers, then we can talk about how could we pull specifications out of here. Let's first talk about the equipment that you're going to be delivering. Here are some photographs of the three different pieces of uh, equipment that you're going to need to be able to deliver. This is our um, carbon dioxide scrubber. This is the compressed water globule astronauts that you're going to be delivering. So you need to make sure that your storage is going to safely be able to to store and contain all three of these. So if we were to go back and write this out, we might um, write it as in like storage, size, or shape. That would be the criteria name. My rover will include a storage compartment that safely fits and doors all three of the scientific equipment. Meant um, parts. It must be at least six inches by six inches by three inches. And then I would finish it off with so that, right? So that the equipment 
won't fall out in transit and become lost or stolen. So that is a very specific, very measurable, very achievable, realistic, and testable criterion. It's specific because it's talking about exactly what it needs to be able to do. It's measurable because it's got sizes and shapes in there. It's achievable and realistic because this is something I can actually build on, and it's totally testable because once I have my rover running, I could test to see whether or not it's that size. I could test to see whether or not things fall out of it. Maybe we could write a second specification. Notice this particular rover has something on its wheels. Maybe you might want to write a specification about how your wheels will have positive traction. Or, taking a look at this one, notice this rover happens to have um, its storage device here. It also happens to have its rubber band connected both to the wheel and axle and its chassis. So maybe you want to write a specification something about how you will connect your drivetrain, right, which is the wheel and axle and the chassis. I'm looking forward to seeing all the different specifications that you come up with. These specifications should be based on the research that you did. So if you did research and found out that there were certain characteristics or features that you think worked well, for other rovers in the past, things that you found out from the requirements that were in the design challenge originally, like things it can have or things it can't have, things it can't do, you're welcome to put those things into your document. I look forward to seeing all your specifications and uh, to answering any questions that you guys have in class. I wish you luck with this. Aloha.